spring elections. And uh, we have to remember that in, what, what month is it now? It, it, the time moves <laughs> well, so May, quickly. May. We're May. in May of, I think, 2013. <laughs> And that goes to the, all the verbal gymnastics about the talking points that you're right happen in the context of this election. And it's not only you know at a time when the administration argument was that Al Qaeda was diminished, um, but it's also a, at a point where the Benghazi operation happens. The U.S. has a role in that, but there's real questions about what kind of role the United States wants to play after uh, Gaddafi is removed, and what kind of footprint the United States wants to have in this part of the world that gets uh, that gets fiercely debated. But let's also remember, you know, that there's an, a big aspect of this that was simply a tragedy that happened. Uh, and not all of this is so clean in terms of who didn't do what, who made a mistake, or who deliberately made yeah. a mistake. These things happen in real time, uh, and, and, and mistakes can happen at the time that fall short of what, and, and, and Joe, you are certainly you know, articulating the argument that some Republicans make, that this yeah. was, at its cynical core, the president who didn't want to call it what it was. And that's really what's going to keep being debated. I, that has not been definitively resolved, by the way, through this hearing, I don't think. No, I, 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 I don't think you need congressional hearings to know that presidents of both parties scramble during re-elections and do things they shouldn't do, Mika, under pressure. There's no and disputing the backdrop that you described. There's no disputing that there was uh, perhaps turmoil or even uh, a conscious effort to try and figure out how to frame it. But breaking the law, covering it up, Watergate, this sort of rabid, um, almost um, intent to sort of bring the president down. Down, that's the part I dispute uh, that I've seen over the past few months, Richard Wolf. I, yeah. These hearings are fascinating. Yeah, a lot I, of good and questions. important. I, I really love, important. I, I do love the idea that the White House, the president, had this tremendous control over the narrative, and they all shaped how it was being framed. I, I know time has passed quickly for some people, but just think back to that moment. And actually, the, not just the reporting of that moment, but for several weeks afterwards, throughout the media, throughout the media, around the world, there was contemporaneous reporting that mm -hmm. said the events in Benghazi were in some ways related to what happened in Cairo, to the protests. This wasn't fabricated out of nothing, out of thin air by this White House. It was widely reported for several weeks afterwards as well. So was there an attempt to reconcile one set of reports with another? Absolutely. And I, I mean, I don't know, the Walter, but in the heat of war, people. in the heat of war, where you've got reporters also on the ground getting it wrong, how common is this? Well, it's a fog of war, and David Gregory is right. Things got messed up, things weren't clear. But I can't really subscribe to what Joe said, which is that, you know, that would make it seem that the CIA, with all of its reports and its talking points that it gave, was part of a vast conspiracy to help reelect the president. I don't think I, that's no. what Joe is saying. You know, Walter, I, yeah. I don't think I said no, that. No, I know, but you... Go back and look at the tape but several you're, times. You're saying that it was sort of a conspiracy of the administration, I, but the I, CIA no, no. is saying... I, I, we're all I'm confused. not saying that it was a conspiracy, Walter. I'm saying this is what presidents and yeah. White Houses do. And I think you're right re on that. Campaign. I which completely is, agree with Joe. Actually. Which is, there is a tendency to want to get your story out right, and there's a tendency to want to make the narrative work in your behalf. But you also have a whole lot of other people, as Richard said, as David said, in this fog, writing talking points, writing intelligence briefs. I think it was some honest mistakes here, not... Uh, but I think it's a fair question, Walter, to ask why. And again, I, this doesn't necessarily go to some larger point about conspiracy. Exactly. But in terms of facts that are emerging now, why in this environment wouldn't you be as inclusive as you can of initial information? So the initial talking points we now see through reporting indicated that there were Islamic uh, radical elements that were involved. That was taken out. Petraeus, uh, then CIA director, testified on Capitol Hill that he thought it was terrorism from the get-go. Obviously, they felt that on the ground there. Why was that sort of take? Why was that taken out and not listed as kind of the range of options that we're trying to get to the bottom of, given that fog of war? Hey, so again, you can chalk that up to sloppiness or something worse. But I mean, th that's part of this mosaic right now. Well, there are two explanations: that Petraeus testified that because he was trying to help with a narrative, or he testified that because he believed it. And I'm mm -hmm. still willing to think maybe he testified that way because he hey, believed guys, it. Hey guys, I'm a staunch Democrat okay. and a communications expert. 
I think it's almost indisputable, your point, Joe. Of course, if he does not want to seem vulnerable at the time where he's a weak on terrorism, that's what you do. It doesn't make him evil. It makes him a president running for office. So you start to get the words cover up, conspiracy, it takes on different verses. Let's get this out this way. I don't think it's, it's inarguable at this point, frankly. It, uh, but, but it, there, it was a people, CIA it, operation. You know, people asked. It, it was a CIA operation. Of course they were doing the truth. Why, Mika, why we have Donnie Deutsch on. Uh, I, I think you just answered the question. David Gregory, thank you so much. Why don't we just end right Thanks, there. David. Walter, I <laughs> stay with us.